Hi everyone and thank you so much for joining us today. Although Live Music Now can't be with you in person, we're so glad that we get to share our music with you in an online context. My name is Laura and my name is Christine and we are called Voice and Verse. So everybody asks us what voice and verse means um, and you uh, it's easy to be mistaken, of course, that thinking, well, Laura is the soprano, um, so she's the voice part, and I'm the verse part, you know, as some sort of poet or jester or something. But actually, it's from uh, the wonderful poem by John Milton, These Blessed Pair of Sirens. And in the first verse, it talks about these two sphere-born harmonious sisters, which we just thought was gorgeous and fancy ourselves. It's two sphere-born harmonious <laughs> sisters. So that's where the name comes from. And today's concert is all going to be about Irish folk music and poetry that comes from Ireland and Scotland. And so we're going to begin today's concert with an Irish song and it's called Down by the Sally Gardens, which we hope you'll recognise and perhaps you even want to sing or hum along. And it's te the text is from an Irish poet called W.B. Yeats and it's set um, to music by the English composer Benjamin Britten. And although it is a tragic love story, the poet manages to uh, use very beautiful and positive imagery of nature. So this is Down by the Sally Gardens. Following on from our Irish folk poet, we've now got a very famous Scottish folk poet, Robbie Burns, and the text is Ye Banks and Braes o Bonny Doon. And actually Ravel, who's a French composer, was very inspired by Robbie Burns' text, and he decided to write music to this, and he's called it Chanson Écossaise. Again, very similarly to Down by the Sally Gardens, this text uses the natural imagery of the world and the leaves and the trees and talks about the birds singing and how carefree the world is, even though the poet is full of woes because his love has left him.
say fresh and fair, how can ye chaunt ye little birds, and I say weary So we stay in Scotland for our next piece and this is called The Wee Man by the Scottish composer Francis George Scott. We love this one and it's very cheeky. Um, so the poet talks about um, how she prefers tall handsome men to as opposed to a wee man. Um, so the wee man just won't do for her. So this is The Wee Man by Francis George Scott. And now we go back to Ireland for our next folk song. And this is called The Garten Mother's Lullaby, which is written by Irish composer Herbert Hughes. It's a beautiful, gentle lullaby that talks about Irish mythology. And it has figures such as Shivra, the Green Man, and the Queen of the Northern Fairies, Eval. And it's great because Herbert Hughes has really brought this text to life by the music. And when you listen, it's almost as if you can see Shiva's boat out on the sea. So this is The Garten Mother's Lullaby by Herbert Hughes.
babe, for the red becomes the silent twilight's fall. Evil from the grey rock comes to rob the world in throng. Halyan, man, oh, my child, my joy, my love and heart's desire. The crickets sing. And now, staying in Ireland for our next piece, this is a very famous Irish folk song, which I'm sure a lot of you will know, and it's called Oh Danny Boy. Sometimes it can also be called the London Derriere, but actually it isn't from the city, Derry, London Derry. It's from a place just outside of there called Limavady. That's where it was first discovered. And in 2017, just before we moved from Northern Ireland over to Scotland, Christine and I were lucky enough to work with members in the Limavady Community Centre and the nursing home and we got to collect their memories over a series of 12 weeks and give them their own personalised third verse of Danny Boy as a way to give Danny Boy back to them. And this arrangement that we will perform today isn't just any arrangement, it is actually arranged by our own pianist Christine Dodden. So if you know it ladies and gentlemen please feel free to sing along. This is Danny Boy.
So we finished today's set in Scotland and we think you'll know this one. This is a Robbie Burns favourite, A Fond Kiss. And as ever, please sing along. So the text um, talks about two parting lovers. So Robbie Burns wrote this for his lover who left Scotland forever. So this is the last time they were to see each other. And thank you so much to Live Music Now and the funders of Live Music Now who make these concerts possible in a slightly different context to what we're all used to. Make sure you always check out the Live Music Now Facebook page for concerts and recitals that are coming up in the future. We are Voice and Verse and thank you so much for tuning in to our concert today that was focused around folk music, poetry and nature from Ireland and Scotland. This is A Fond Kiss. Pledge 